Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem B from the latest code forces round 669 problem name Big Boa. So Alexandra is like, you can read this, this is just a story, but the question statement states that that you are given n positive integers a1 till an like using them you have to form and like you have to use one number exactly once you have to make a sequence b1 b2 bn so you are given some sequence a1 till an you have to form a sequence from b1 to bn which means that like it is the same sequence uh, like the length of the sequence is same such that the sequence c1 till cn is lexographically maximum and the ith element of c is the gcd of b1 till bi so it sounds confusing but let me clear it out let's draw some example to make it even more clear so you are given some uh, like some uh, like series so let's take this series it's very like it can make your doubt clear 1 8 2 3 so let's take this out first uh, the series is 1 8 2 and 3 okay so uh, like the final answer of this is 8 2 1 3 let's write down also 8 2 1 3 so what the statement states that this is the b which you actually have to print so this is a this is b and what is c now so c is actually a sequence that is formed in which the ith element of c is the gcd of b till the ith point so it means that c if you take the gcd of just first number it's 8 gcd of first two numbers it's 2 gcd of first three numbers it's 1 gcd of all three numbers is 1 so you actually have to do here is you have to take the gcd of those numbers like this 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 and this gcd of this is just the ci like the first term second term third term fourth term so this is a sequence and what you are actually having or like the question statement states that if you take some another b let's assume that you take some another b uh, in which the b look like this 2 8 or let's assume i take 2 1 3 8 now the c look like this 2 1 1 1 now take these two like sequences this and this sequence which sequence is lexographically maximum what you can say the sequence with this because it's it is 8 in the start and it is 2 in the start so this statement is or this sequence is lexographically maximum how you can check that just take two pointers let's assume that and start moving them from left to right whatever element is maximum which occurs first so let's assume if you have two statements like 2 2 1 1 5 8 so you take two pointers one hit here they are same so let's move to the next point they are same let's actually move to the next point it is greater so this is lexographically greater than this sequence so that's the like how you can check any two sequence are greater than lexographically greatest so you are actually given some sequence and you have to find out a b such that if you take or that b and find out c then that c is lexographically maximum because if you take some another b it is not like it will form some other c and it should not be like lexographically maximum and even if two b's are giving the same c's which are like lexographically maximum you can print any of them so that's the whole question first now how you can approach this question the first thing to see here is i'm also going to make a video on this the first thing is read the constraint first please as you can see here is the total sum of all numbers of n over all the test cases doesn't exceed 10 to power 3 whenever you see 10 to power 3 and it means that you can do like a o of n square operation why because if you do an o of n square operation you are doing at most 10 to power 6 operations uh, and if, if you're doing a 10 to power 6 operation you can do such type of uh, like calculation in one second okay if it is t it, like up to 10 to power 5 then it should be o of n but it's 10 to power 3 so you can do like o of n square uh, calculation and you can like like easily pass it in some brute force so i'm also going to make a separate video how you can analyze some question and find out whether it can be solved in which time complexity so let's move on to this question now first so now how you can approach that question is first what you can see here is i cannot use one more or like the same number twice so how the best way to do that is to make a some visited array or some check array whatever you can name it 
and whenever you have visited some number or like taken some number you have like you can mark it out in this visited array so that you will not take this number again okay so now what is the first observation you can like think of here is because i want the lexographically maximum number or like the sequence the first term should be maximum okay so what does this mean here is like let's assume i have some 8 and 16 and 92 okay now if i take 8 in the starting 16 and then 8 and then 92 then the c will turn out to be 16 first and then the common remainder like common gcd of this is 8 and then like maybe 1 but if i take 92 first 92 16 8 then the first term of this is 92 and then like maybe 1 and 1 but this is lexicographically maximum because it is having 91 at the first term what i have told you i have take two pointers this is 91 so this is lexicographically maximum so the first term is always the maximum of the whole series so that's the first like, like thing you can observe so first find out the maximum of all the whole series and mark it out one so okay this is the maximum of this series mark it out one and take it out as the remainder or take it out as the first term in the like the series you want to find out b now the next term what you want to find out is such that because you can do an o of n square operation why not i just move across the whole series and i have the gcd till now is equal to it let's take this gcd and take this number which is the gcd till now and do take the because the next number is such that i have to maximize so let's assume that number is a b c d i have find out the first number now i want to find the next number such that this is maximum possible a and b is maximum possible so i know till a i want to add b so what can i do here is i can iterate over every possible number and do a gcd of that number with the like the current gcd i have till now the current gcd i have till now is 8 so i can do a gcd of 8 with 1 it will give 1 then i can do a gcd of 8 and 8 but it is wasted so i will not do it then i will do a gcd of this with 8 it will give 2 and then i will do a gcd of 3 and 8 it will give 1 so wherever i find a gcd which is maximum it's always beneficial to take that number now because it will eventually make our gcd greater so i will add 2 at this point and add 1 to it because it is weighted i cannot take this anymore now my gcd till now becomes 2 what can i do next i can take this number and now do gcd of this number with every number remaining so i will do the gcd of this with 1 okay it's give the total gcd of 1 then it will do with 8 no 2 no then i will take the gcd with the total gcd which is 2 with 3 which is equal to 1 so like both of them are equal i can i can take any one of them so i will take this one so like this okay mark this out one put one in the start then only three is left so three is start and this is two one like eight two one three and uh, eight two one three that's the answer i hope you understand the logic part now so that's the simplest answer because i, I can do it in o of n square so that's what i'm doing for every position for every position i am iterating over the whole array and finding out whatever is giving me the maximum gcd just take that then for the next position iterate over the whole array again and find out whatever is giving me the maximum gc till that point take that and that's the whole logic let's move on to the code part now so the code is also like intuitive according to logic make a a is the input array b is the final array which we want to find and visited array then d is zero initialized but you can also do here is what i've told you find out the maximum number but like because i'm doing it in one loop you can initialize d with zero the d is the current gcd which is the current gcd moving on which i've told you then iterate over from zero till n index and maximum is used to store the index of the maximum number so let's assume that i am iterating over from left to right and i see that 2 is giving me the maximum gcd till now so i will store what is the maximum gcd till now which is 2 and at what position i am getting this at index like 1 so i will store it out such that in the end i can easily mark it out in o of 1 operation and i like i can also store that gcd somewhere else so that's what i'm doing here is i will make index and maximum then iterate over for every position in the whole array and if it is not like visited i will find out the gcd of that d which is till now gcd and this a of j if this gcd is greater than maximum i will make the maximum equal to this gcd and index i will make or i will store this index of the number which is giving the maximum gcd in this j 
then after going through every number in this array i what will i do the current gcd now becomes maximum because i am i have taken like let's assume that 8 i iterate over all the array and find out that 2 is giving me the maximum gcd so now i have taken this as a whole so my new gcd is the whole gcd which i have updated here only because this is the current gcd with every other gcd which is giving the maximum number so that's what i've taken this is i have updated my current gcd is equal to the maximum gcd i have found when i'm iterating over the whole array and also because i've taken that number i have make that index equal to one because i've taken that number and also the ith number of b is equal to a of index what does this mean because i have taken that number my ith number so like in the first position it's eight but now my next position i have taken that number two so i will update the ith position with the this index number this is the index number which i have told you the maximum is stored in index so i will update the ith position the next ith position with that index number and so on and so on and in the end i will just print out all the elements in this in that like b array because i've made the b array and i've updated this b array while iterating from left to right so that's the whole logic for the second question i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye